Okay, we're back. Oh, this mouse is a bit fast. Hang on, two seconds. That's all done. Okay, so we're back. Here we go. We've uh, gone and collected some bits and pieces. A little ship here. We're going to upgrade it. We've got our things that we need. Let's just show you what they are first. We've got five plasteel ingots, which are ten. Titanium made into a bar. The piece of lithium makes one plasteel ingot. A couple of aluminium oxides. A couple of fucking computer chips, which is two silver, one crystal, and something else. <laughs> Can't remember. Anyway. We have everything we need. We've got our pressure compensator. We are going to now make pressure compensator mark two. Boom. Yes, and pressure compensator three. This should now give the Seamoth a total depth of 900 meters. The original uh, depth without any pressure compensator was. Welcome aboard, Captain. Only 200. Terrible. With one pressure competitor, it was 300. With this Mark III, we should get 900 meters. Let's have a look see. Ship locking. And there we go. 900 meters. Ah, awesome. Now I don't have to worry about hull uh, damage, hull damage. So we can pretty much go almost anywhere. The prawn suit, however, will go to 1,000 meters, 1,009, 1,050, something like that I did see on a video. So that was interesting. That's the guy I watched to uh, do this thing. Um, ah, just stupid welder. Do your welding now. A bit more. There we go. Okay. All prepared, all ready to go. So. We'll be back shortly. We're going to head over to the um, floating mountains to retrieve possibly a stasis gun fragment and possibly another Cyclops engine part, which we only need two to get our thing done. Uh, two more Cyclops engine blueprints, which will make the third part. We have two already. We've got the, what's it called? The hull and the bridge fragments already so that's all we need to do and then we can make the cyclops then we might head on over to the aurora and get some stuff we might even go there before we do that because i think uh we could go there we're just going to need to make some fire extinguishers which i have no idea how to do let's go have a quick looky okay howdy doody we're back in a little bit of subnautica um, we've just found our last remaining engine parts for the Cyclops, which was just here. Pretty much due north of the life pod, you come to these floating island things, which is down, you know, a couple hundred meters over this ridge. I did find a little ridge here that had a part on it, and I thought, uh, there's a lot of them, these things around. I thought I'd uh, just go over and check out the wreck first, which I did, and I forgot to record, so I'm an idiot, so such is life. So basically, around here, you'll find stasis rifle fragments, there's a fragment just sitting right there, and that's probably a stasis rifle fragment, so probably no point going to get it, but we'll show you what it looks like anyway. And yeah, stasis rifle, so I'll take that for the titanium anyway. So we'll grab that, and uh, that's where we found our... Uh... Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, thank you. Uh, found our titanium. Now, there is a spot to go in up here. And I've just realised after multiple tries that my laser cutter doesn't work, so I can't get through any of these unlocked doors, or so to speak. So who knows what's in there? Let's hope nothing important because it just doesn't work. I'll have a bit of a read up and see if there is anything I can do about that, but at this point in time, I don't think there's much. Well, there's a bit of crystal there, we might grab that. And we 
are going to head back to our base and make the Cyclops. Then we might go get some parts for the uh, other thing because that thing, if you can find a drill arm for it, uh, that's something else I've got to find too. What the hell is that? Um, the drill arm. You see these nodes running around here and there? Uh, glitchy bit of metal. Uh, where are they? I'll see if I can find one on the way back. But they are just big, big crystals, big, big things that look like big things. They can be drilled with the stupid exosuit, and that can be a handy thing for gathering resources and that sort of stuff because uh, they do give off quite a bit. Uh, things like this, things like this here, I mean that kind of looks like copper or something and that you can drill up with the exosuit and Okay, so we found it. There it is, the dunes wreck. I've put a beacon out so I can find it again should I need to. So having a quick squiz around before we go inside to see if there's anything uh, worthwhile having a look at on the outside. Um, it's a bit dangerous with these bloody things around. There's quite a few sand sharks doing their thing. Uh, a bit of titanium there. We haven't got many slots, so we just basically want to pick up what we're looking for, which is some arms and whatever else we can find here. And, and a way in would be fucking helpful. I think it's around the other side there. There's usually a couple of different ways in there. Bits and pieces up there. And so on and so forth. Uh, nothing in these cargo boxes, which makes it... Hello? What sort of fish are you? Ah, you're a tat fish. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so this guy's going to be a bother. He's just diving to... He's spitting up black sand. He's got an oil leak, that one. Uh, but he's right where I want to get in there. You crack it in. Not sure if we can get in up through here. They, they get very pushy. Very pushy indeed. I think you can get through there. We might try that. They don't seem to be bothering me too much in here, sorry. Is it me bumping into something? Probably. Alright, let's hold there. Hey, straight in. Okay. What do we got? What do you got? You got the lot. Uh, not much yet. And looking, looking, looking. Is it a door? Open the door. Uh, uh, don't go outside. Uh. Alrighty. Lucky room. Let's make sure there's nothing else down here. I remember the way out because <laughs> I don't want to get stuck in here. Got plenty of air, so have a quick look in here. Sealed door, not much in there I can get. Okay, that room's cleared. Might just duck back out and get some, uh, some air. Seems to be going very slow. Captain. Uh, just to be on the safe side. The three high capacity tanks now, and I think that I might even have a uh, the plasteel tank on me as well, just for the fun of it. Um, it should have smaller slots if it's supposed to be like that. You know what I mean? All right. We have some go go juice. Let's go 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 juice. Let's have a look in here. Yep, and something in here. Bit, bit of sand, a lot of sand. A lot of sand up there as well. Anything? Anything? Nothing? 
nothing. Right, this is turning out to be a bit of a fizzer. What's up with that? Uh, where else can we go? We can go down there. We've come in here. This isn't the... Where was the other door? Is that that door down there? No. Uh, there is... Where's that go? That goes out as well. There was this thing here, which I believe we go through that tunnel. But what I'm going to do is just get some air first. Hate those tunnels, sometimes you can lose your direction real quick. And I need water too. Jeez me. Come on air, get up there. There we go. Jeez. So that doesn't look like that door that's on the other side there. I'll just have a quick look where this other thing goes. Yoink, yoink. No, oh shit, that's close. And what do we got in here? Anything? Anything at all? Anything? Anything? Oh, fucking Jesus. Angry little shitters. They don't like my band in here. Why? Why? What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely, absolutely nothing. So we got the repulsion cannon too back at that other wreck. Okay, this is, this is, this is, uh, let me through there. Is that where I go? Oh yes. See, these tunnels are terrible for getting lost in. Okay, no, panic. Something to drink. Okay. Take that, poor black boy. Alright. Let's get around the other side here. I'm pretty sure we can go in through this door. As long as this guy would leave us alone. For a minute, and we can duck in here quickly. Uh, open says me quickly, quickly. Well, okay, scan around a bit. What have we got? We've got a door that just for show. Lockers, lockers everywhere. Uh, lockers and a fucking other door. Well, I'm just a little peed. Peed that I can't find anything here. Because I watch someone come in here and get stuff. So, that's, that's very gay. My laser cutter doesn't work, so I can't get through there. Maybe I have to make the Cyclops first and get a prawn suit, and then they'll show up, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a thing like that. I wouldn't think so, but uh, you never know. Games are funny sometimes. Anyway, we'll leave that beacon here. We also found a giant mushroom over there, which apparently there's lots of goodies underneath it. Well, this is just crazy. Should be able to go in through there too, but... There's nothing in there. Nothing in there at all, which is really weird. It's going to really hurt my dreams of having something to drill all this lovely material. Maybe I was mistaken. Mm, maybe. Somehow I doubt it though. Oh, oh, sorry. Watch out for the vent. Oh. Jesus, the bloody vent. Yeah, fucking Jesus, everything everywhere. Oh, what's that down there? Did we miss that? We did. Where do you go? You go into sand, you come down into car. And what's in car, you say? 
Uh, not a lot. Not a lot at all. That's how we get out. Can we get up through that ladder? Yes, anything? Stuffs. More stuffs. That's our air like air is good. No, nothing. Nothing though. What the fuck? Oh, what's over here? Oh, we've been through here. Oh yeah, we're going around in fucking circles now. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was pretty stupid. The stupid thing is that I can't find what I'm looking for. Yeah, gonna... Anyway, we're gonna go and build the Cyclops. Why don't we do that? Holy crack. Jeez, you're gonna break the bloody ship. Alright, 308 meters down. We wanna go here. And we'll be back when we're ready to build the Cyclops. We might need to get some bits and pieces. So, see you then. Bye for now.